Okay, what's up YouTube? I'm Max G Man here, showing you how to make Yu-Gi-Oh Oricas on your on your computer. Um, making them in real life is gonna be probably part two to this video. Whenever I get around to that, don't bug me. Anyway, um, basically the reason I'm making this video is because yesterday I was like, hmm, I'm gonna learn how to make Oricas. Learned how to make a decent token Orica, and then kind of improved dish on my skills and. Now I'm going to show you because I'm hella bored and, um, yeah. So, only thing you're going to need for this is a computer and GIMP, which is free. And there's a free download to it in the description. Check it out. And then go do something. Um, yeah. I'm, by something, I mean watch this video. Anyway, I'm going to catch up to what I just did on screen. Basically, um, the, you're going to need three images for the token I'm going to show you how to make. You're going to need a background. You're gonna need a character, and um, you're gonna need a what you would call it? A token, an image of a token, a Yu-Gi-Oh token. This image of the token is the most important. It cannot be distorted in any way, shape, or form. Um, so now, after you get all those three things, and you check your folder that I just made on my desktop, and instantly put stuff in due to epic editing. Um, now that you have all your images in that folder, you're gonna open up GIMP. Now the first thing you're going to do when you open up GIMP is you're going to go to File, New, and you're going to create a 400 by 580 pixel, not inch, new document thing for GIMP, whatever. Um, then you're going to go to a File and you're going to open up wherever the hell your Ojama token, well it doesn't have to be the Ojama token, but wherever the hell your token is, hopefully it's in the folder that I just told you to make. If you're 5 years old and have an attention span of 15 seconds, you should be able to figure that out. So now you go to your Ojama token we have over here, and you're gonna go to the um, you're gonna go to the size uh, scale tool, and you're gonna make sure that it's the scale is the same as it was with your blank document, 400 by 580. That is important. Um, now, if your token isn't distorted in any way, all it should just match this perfectly. The size may change, but the proportions should stay the same. Once again. If something is messed up with your token and the proportions seem off after sizing it to 400 by 580, then something's wrong. But you're going to zoom into the point where it's easy to use the crop tool, and then after that, you're going to crop the little, you're going to select over the little token box, and this one doesn't have to be as accurate as the bottom, um, just because no one's really going to notice any minor, minor flaws with the cropping up here. So you're going to crop that, and you're going to save it as something new, because you don't want to save over the token that you just saved, because if you do that, then you're going to have to go back and re-download the same picture, and then resize it, and then go from there again, and that's just going to suck. So don't do that. Just do, just save it as something new. The um, And by the way, how you use the crop tool, after you select it, just click in the middle of the thing you just cropped, and everything else will disappear like it did with my token box here. So, after you've gotten the name token selected and cropped and everything, you can just close that for now. Now, open up your handy dandy, we have our Ojama token here. So, I, I'm going to open up my Ojama token again. And after I do that, I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the title of the token, except now I'm going to get the description box. So, once again, I'm going to zoom in. There's a little zoom in button handy. And then I'm going to select the crop tool. And here's where I'm going to be a little bitch about, like, how accurate I am because I really don't want to mess this up and so I'm just gonna be tweaking and tweaking and tweaking and tweaking while this is going on I should let you know that recently I went to New York and I had KFC there and the KFC in New York is like just like the KFC here it's like KFC ish yeah and now that my black moment is over um, that's done and now I'm gonna save this as a new image again um, so I just named the first one token um, title and then this one token text just to be super simplistic because there are some slow people out there now you're gonna try and save this as the highest quality you can throughout creating this because if you go low quality to low quality it's just gonna end up looking bad and worse so just keep it at the highest quality possible just do yourself a favor even if it takes longer to save just do it um, unless your computer cannot handle it. If your computer can't handle it, then you're going to have to settle for lower quality, but yeah. So now you're going to make a new, or if you if you don't have one open already, you're just going to make a 
uh, 400 by 580 document again. And now you're going to open up your original token. So for me, it's the Ojama token. And then you're going to open up your token title box and your token text box. Now, when these things open, they'll automatically select themselves. And if they don't, there's a select tool. But basically, you're going to go over it and you're going to copy it and paste it onto this new blank Yu-Gi-Oh card sized uh, thingy, like the blank document, right? You're going to use the up and down arrows, not the drag mouse. You're gonna not going to use your mouse for this. You're going to use the up and down arrows and position it to about the place where it should be for an actual token. Then you're going to go to your token that you had before that is sized to the same size as this. And you're going to just compare them to see if your token box needs any adjusting to where it is. Now, you might want to be a little, you know, like... Um, position horror here and just make sure it's in the same exact place for me I'm lucky and I got it perfectly on the first try for the top box but as you can see for the second box um, I'm gonna be a little position horror and I'm gonna make sure that it is perfectly matched up with my Ojama token now once again this does work because since the Ojama token is a 400 by 580 since you sized it um, and it's centralized thanks to GIF centralizing it for you. They are both going to be overlapping each other perfectly. So since these things are both the same size and they both overlap each other perfectly, you will be able to compare with absolute precision where these boxes need to go. And as you can see, I'm just going to click back and forth until I notice that there are absolutely no changes, even in the slightest, between the box here and then the box on my token. And then the box here and then there you go so now that I got it perfectly I can close my Ojama token forever alright now um, I'm gonna close the token and I'm gonna save this thing that I just created as <coughs> epic cough I'm gonna save this as generic token template because not only are we gonna use this for our token now but we can use this for every token we ever create in the future now don't save it as .jpg save it as .gif because I'm pretty sure this does not work with .jpg so now this is where things get a little complicated we're gonna save our token as uh, whatever you name it .gif and if it says export here just click the export button and then just click save um, basically what that means is it's not gonna save until you just click those things so just click them now you're about to see me um, start to enlarge this box and you're gonna go over to this box that I'm enlarging and you're gonna click on that little arrow that gives you gonna give you a little drag down menu and then there's only gonna be one option there it's gonna be your generic token template now you're gonna highlight that background thing and you're gonna click duplicate layer then you're gonna delete the original background alright then you're gonna right click over the, n the background copy um, um, you're gonna right click over that and you're gonna add add alpha channel it's gonna have a little gray grid next to it the option is once again the option name is add alpha channel then you're gonna um, go to your little wand select tool that you might have seen me click because the things a little ahead of me and you're gonna click that and then you're gonna go to since it's selecting all of the white on the image you're gonna click edit and cut so that basically cuts away all of the white so now when we're putting this on top of an image it's not gonna have that white blocking the image the white is now completely gone so the only thing going on top of the image are the two boxes that we cut out and put in the perfect positioning for our token now we're gonna save this once again um, make sure it's like a dot gif because I'm pretty sure this does not work with JPEG um, and yeah um, the whole reason you make the copy um, be is because if you try and do this little select and then add alpha channel and if you try and do that and delete the white with the background it's not gonna work so yeah um, now we're gonna go to our background for the orica um, and since this is opened in a separate thingy you know um, and we're gonna go to our crop tool um, ignore what I did there that was a misclick we're gonna go to our crop tool and we're gonna select an area around the size of an actual Yu-Gi-Oh card and you see I did that here and this is the area I want for the background of my orica um, so I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna click it and it's just going to crop all the other stuff away. Then, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to hit the uh, scale tool. And I'm just going to click on my image and it's going to pop up the scale box. 
and it's going to make it f I'm going to choose 400 by 580 once again if you haven't noticed and once again if you're a slow person let me explain 400 by 580 is like the perfect sizing scale for your Yu-Gi-Oh Orica 400 by 580 your perfect scale for a Yu-Gi-Oh card this is the size of the Yu-Gi-Oh card digitally okay so now that you've done that and you're gonna go and you're gonna copy what you just made and you're gonna paste it onto your blank 400 by 580 document and that's gonna give you with this um, it's gonna be perfectly sized and everything so you're not really gonna notice anything except for the image just being popped over there so now you're going to take the character that you had from Google um, and see notice how my character um, the image I chose from Google was like an image where it had the gray boxes in the background so that way all of the white that you might have seen it have on Google is technically transparent so if you can find an image like this um, you're lucky um, so yeah basically you're but for this kind of thing you're gonna have to find one like this anyway but as you can see like near his finger there's a little uh, white there so I'm gonna try and get that out of my orca I don't want people noticing that so I'm gonna just put it near the right um, you have to make sure you know the flaws in your image if it has any um, so I'm just gonna position it where I want it to be um, and there you go and now you can click out of that um, you're using the select tool if you want because that's what I usually do to get out of these options and then there you go and if you want to reposition again don't panic just hit control Z and it'll bring it back to your drag option but uh, I'm just gonna keep it this way and now uh, one of the basic final steps um, after you do that you're gonna have your thing over here and make sure it's saved make sure everything is perfect like I showed you um, and then you're going to exit it out and you're gonna reopen it um, this might take me a little time because uh, things got a little awkward when I was actually making the Orica so you're gonna go to your generic token template you're gonna X that out um, you save it first just make sure it's saved um, you're gonna exit out and reopen it um, because I was having trouble so just to, if you wanna copy exactly what I did just reopen it and you're gonna select it and you're gonna copy it and then um, when you copy it and you're gonna paste it over this and notice how since we had the where the gray checkered boxes were it's transparent so nothing was there now if we had kept the white in it would have pasted the white over it as well and then that would have been like awkward and even if you made it transparent it would have just had a whole white tone to the entire image and it would have looked bad so now that we have that um, as you can see I used the little option there to uh, the opacity the opacity option um, and I just made it slightly transparent and there you go there is a badass orica you can put your name on it with the text box option the text box option if you want um, but really there's nothing you need to do from here and yeah that's how you make a nice token um, so last step is just simply saving it um, so what you're gonna do is you are going to go to file save and save it as and just name it whatever you wanna name it now for some reason when I tried to save it this way it didn't work or whatever like it didn't save it as the right name um, that's probably my fault because I clicked on the background thing and then it renamed it as a new background image whatever um, but don't do what I did don't be stupid and click on other stuff while you're naming your image just name it and then save it um, and then make it the highest possible um, resolution or quality highest quality you can possibly make it all that jazz and then once you find your image which I stupidly made two of them I mean, I didn't make two of them, I named it, I accidentally named it something else, and so I went looking in the or other Oracas I started to make and play around with, um, but yeah, it wasn't in there, it was in the same folder, so you op you finally go and you open up um, your Orica and you check out how it looks, oh uh, man, how long did it take me, this is embarrassing, man, I'm slow, and yeah, there you go, that's how the Orica would look as a token, um, you can make this either paper or you can make it hollow. I personally know how to make it hollow. Um, so next time we are going to turn this into something like a secret rare. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And 
while you're waiting, you can check out my other videos and, you know, go touch yourself to my voice. Bye.